Hey everyone, Shade Prometheus here. Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. So I'm playing this game with my best bud, Viggy, and we're gonna try to get through most of the stories on here. So if you guys have tuned in in the last stream, this is how it kind of went off. Like, it's uh, we're, we're starting the club, we joined the literature club, and they were talking about doing, like, you know, showing off the literature club and a festival that's coming up. Let people really get into it. You know what I mean? Let's see. Oh, your mom's cooking. What's she cooking? Let's see. I'm a best bud. Of course you are. Of course you are. But uh, yeah. So uh, we're uh, we're trying to figure out like. Well, basically we're trying to like do the Sayori run. So we're going to be trying to do all this other stuff right here, and hopefully. Hopefully it all like works out, you know. Ugh, I'm, I'm not sure though, but we 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 will try our best. I'll say that much. Let me see. We'll go ahead and put that up. Put that up. It smells like mac and cheese. Oh, that's always a good. That's always a good dish. Mm mm mm. Ah, uh, I definitely want some. Nothing goes better with mac and cheese like fried chicken. Hmm. Well. Let's see. I'll put up me notes. Ah, yes. Uh, we're definitely gonna need those notes. Because I have no idea what I'm doing without them. And I feel kind of bad, like, just kind of looking back and forth. Because that's what I was doing, like, before. Also, the other thing was that, uh... Well, I didn't get a chance to see the messages, so... My, uh... My bad on that one, but uh, apparently I wasn't supposed to save the progress on the same file. I was supposed to like save it on a different file. So I ran back, like a, a day later after I did that, I went ahead and uh, went back. I did all the parts like leading up to that part again, and I stopped it on the one where you're supposed to like do the whole uh, the whole uh, poem thing, and I picked the ones that Sayori liked. So. We can still like stay up to date with that so now we should be able to continue back where we started but i am starting on the second file because now i got all that stuff out the way so and what i'm guessing is like we're, we're supposed to go back to like that part of the story again but instead of doing uh all the stuff sayori likes like do all the stuff like the other girls like so i'm guessing that's how it's supposed to go so hopefully that's all out the way uh, oh, you don't have fried chicken. That's a shame. Oh my gosh. That goes so perfect with it. Let's see. Good job, PT. Yeah, uh, sorry. I, I, I should have looked. I should have been looking at comments before I, like, actually hit save. But I did not. So that is, that's my fault. But I'm glad I fixed it, though. Let's see. I've written down the character poems from the wiki so it should work. Okay. And that. Oh! Hey, Taco! Yeah! Everybody here. Now then, I guess without further ado, let's try to load up the game. Hopefully that'll... Hope, hopefully now, we'll be able to go ahead and get things back on track. Okay, so, right here, I was doing, I was doing it Saturday, so... This is where we start the poem off, and this is the one where we're actually going to uh, start from. See, I'm eating sandwiches, so I'll probably not be able to chat much, but I'm here. Nah, that's fine. Yeah, get the munchies. This girl's got some confidence to wear skirts that short. I mean, yeah. It's like they're not even bothered about it. But, I don't know. Most school uniforms are kind of weird. Their dress codes are. I know the ones in, uh... I know, like, some of the things in, like, uh, some of the schools in Japan. Like, they have, they have, uh, some of the girls, like, wearing, uh, short skirts like that. I don't know. Some girls are indeed not bothered by it. Nah, they're proud of their legs. They want to show them off. Uh, let's see. Well, without further ado, I guess we'll go ahead and get started. So, phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. There was a, that was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Them long legs. 
exactly. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Even if they are just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. <laughs> Daddy long legs. This is literature club after all. Nice sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes line on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper and share their respective poems. As they read them and tan them, I watch other I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? Me had to try that hard to come up with something nice to say. Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Uh oh, not a fight. Not one of those. Um. Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Hmm. I was looking for suggestions. I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Oh no, guys. Which people did, by the way. See where he liked it. And prompted it too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, oh no. Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing uh, my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly ex inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Mm. And Prom liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki Sully stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh, eh? Uh oh. That's not what I... Uh, you, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. I like it, Natsuki, and I took that personally. Basically. Like, God, y'all guys don't have to, like, fight over poems. It's just how you guys write. Eh. Maybe you're just jealous that Prom appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Huh? And how did you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you full of yourself? Or are you that full of yourself? Oh, no. I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. <sighs> um... Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one who's... Oh, gosh. I wasn't the one who's just magically grew a size bigger as soon as prom uh, start showing up. N Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. Ah, uh, sick burns. Yeah, I'm talking about... Oof, the B word. Mmm. I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, so both girls... Those turn towards me as if they noticed I was standing there. Prom? She... She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it! If she could get over herself a lead to appreciate the simple writing is more effective, then it wouldn't be... Uh, then it wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of you making poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader and not force them to have to figure it out. Let me explain that to her, Prom. Wait, there's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning, the, and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Prom? Uh, um... Let's see, sight with Sayori. Okay. Well... Uh, how did I get dragged in this in the first place? Uh, and that's usually how it re goes in real life, too. Natsuki's in the wrong, not gonna lie. Everyone has their unique stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, 
just because your style doesn't match up with theirs doesn't mean it's wrong it's wrong to think of that it's just you have a different way of looking at it but i don't know it's not like i know anything about writing but whomever i grew it they'll probably think more highly of me so of course that's going to be help me sayori that's suki i see claire's me drawing up any words i had in my mouth so instead i turned to yuri yuri mm -hmm. But Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Yeah, yeah, look, yeah and that Suki attacked her first too. I know! You should have just left her alone, but I don't know. Uh, Sayori! <laughs> yeah, everyone's, everyone fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Wrong. That's her problem. This isn't about her. Uh, I agree. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings to her conflict. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri that what a stuck-up jerk she's being. She would never. It's your immaturity that's made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Oh, dear. Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why... Exactly why nobody likes... Stop! Oh. Yeah, tell him, Sayori. Natsuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. I, I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people. I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems, they're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? D because... Well... Also, Natsuki's cute, and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's just are the same as us they always were. Big and beautiful. Good grief. I mean, I would be kind of embarrassed if someone said that about mine, but I'd go off, I suppose. Sayori. Sayori stands triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. I hope make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So this is why Sayori is vice president, I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I couldn't bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing, Ruby. <laughs> I'm with Monica. Yeah, I know. I don't usually like getting to uh, getting in the middle of things either, but sometimes you got to be the voice of reason. I'm not saying like you have to be the voice of reason all the time, but sometimes you gotta be. <laughs> nah, it's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just means Sayori is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You could say that. Let's see, now nah, that's why VPs exist. Monica's fine. Yeah, pretty much. Like, hey, I can't do this, so you handle it. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's really suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? Oh, wait, I hate to see her er, get, hurt or, er, get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica saw it, it smiled sweetly at me, causing my stomach to knot. Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How do y'all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Prom, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome! In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. Hmm. I think to myself. I did learn a little I did learn a little more about the kinds of poem everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job at pressing those I want to impress. 
I nod to myself with newfound determination. Prom? Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori, about what happened earlier? Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Atsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no! That's really the first time I've seen them fighting like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't... You don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, is all. I can see why they make good friends with you. Whew. You know, Prom. It's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> it looks like Sayori still has to caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but... Does it really need to stop there? Well... We'll just see... Um, oh, dang it. Hold on. Let me try that again. We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I say that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Oh, no. Here comes the, the poem thing again. Me help! I don't know what to do. What 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 am I meant to do here? Okay, calm. Okay. Alrighty then. Now we've got the other stuff. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, thank you. So the next ones we have are memories, boop, play, rainbow, lollipop, uncanny, mass. Is that Massacre? Yeah, I guess it's Massacre. I almost said Mascara. Uh, Starscape, Amazing, and Socks. Okay, Memories. Memories. Gotcha. Sounds good to me. Okay, great. Okay, and we got the next ones. We got Empty, Ambient, Party, Existence, Bed, Marshmallow, Unrequited, Portrait, Ribbon, and Sparkle. Such amazing socks. Yeah, funny funny thing though, like the, uh, oh, party? Okay, hold on. There we go. Uh, the next ones are Covet. Uh, is that Effulgent? What's Effulgent? I don't know what that word is. Uh, Passion, Summer, Cheeks, Sunny, Mouse, Misery, Blanket, and Insight. But yeah, funny thing about socks, like, Usually I, I wear socks like, you know, if you have to go someplace, but sometimes like when it's winter, I don't like, like I put on socks so I can stay warm, but my body doesn't like socks, so usually when I put them on, I wake up and they're like just off. I'm like, nah, I, 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 I can't stand socks. Passion. Gotcha. Effulgent is like bright. Like bright as in like smart bright or bright as in like bright as the light oh uh also we got fester laugh defeat entropy unending imagination cage uncontrollable papa and kiss see is the already bouncing i'm not pa i'm not catching it like shining brightly oh okay but yeah to answer your question Viggy, yeah they uh Sayori's bouncing uh, she seems to like those words. Okay, laugh. Laugh, gotcha. Okay, the next words are we got vivid, shame, adventure, awesome, daydream, special, charm, disaster, captive, and lazy. See, okay, good. The week, the wiki is reliable then. Ah, uh, okay. When in doubt, go we, uh, go wick. Wiki it. Uh, I'm, I'm glad. What I'm glad at least whoever wrote the wiki was actually like accurate. 
sometimes those people are just like, ugh, can't stand them. But yeah, so, for the most part, I don't really- oh, awesome! Okay. So the next ones we got is Flower, Fear, Sadness, Heartbeat, Spinning, Shiny, Music, Meager, Precious, and Hair. Fear? Fear. Okay. So far, Sayori's liking it. Alright. The next ones we have are Embrace, Melody, Together, Dazzle, Hope, Valentine, Hopeless, Cry, Dream, and Extreme. Uh, still not sure about those. Like, most of them, like, that That does seem like something uh, Sayori might not like. Oh, Hopeless? Let me see. Yup, she's loving these. Okay, the next ones we got are Fireflies, Wonderful, Waterfall, Lust, Extraordinary, Depression, Warm, Grief, Lucky, and Despise. But yeah, most of these things kind of seem like something that Yuri might be interested in, but nope. Sayori likes them. But... I guess we'll see. I swear, if this was actually me, like, uh, making all these, uh, well, having to make a poem, like, every day, I would be so spent because I have no idea how to string words together to make, like, a poem. Like, I've tried, like, writing a little bit of that in there, but I never really, uh, never was really any all that good at it. Grief. Oh, she liked it. Okay. Now then, the next ones are Romance, Contamination, Time, Pleasure, Desire, Joy, Infallible, Comfort, Afterimage, and Giggle. Comfort? Okay. Uh, we're a little over halfway there. Okay, the next one is Determination, Ocean, Lipstick, Flea, Sugar, Vanilla, Milk, that sounds like a recipe for cookies. Uh, pink, whisper, and nightgown. But yeah, these, these, uh, these three right here, they kind of, they kind of reminded me of like when I was making those sugar cookies before. Ocean? Wow, she really does like ocean. Okay. Next ones are Alone. Variants, Loud, Breathe, Heart, Disoriented, Games, Tear, Color, and Secretive. Your poem is just a recipe for cookies. See, though, we need a cover of this song. That's just P.T. Oh, you mean, you mean just, uh, like, saying, saying all the words in time with the music? I, uh, I would love it if I was, like, if I was actually making cookies right now. We don't have enough ingredients for it. Alone? Okay. Yeah! Okay. The next ones that we have are Candy, Disown, Anime, Vivacious, uh, Feather, Sweet, Tragedy, Beauty, Judgment, and Sticky. Ah, uh, just like sticky buns. I remember like when I was in school when I was like learning about like the different senses that a human has. Like, we wanted, we did an experiment with, uh, the, the sense of taste, and we make these Russian tea cakes. <laughs> oh, wait, you, you mean my, uh, humming to this music? Yeah, I don't know, that's not really singing, but, let's see, tragedy? Okay. Okay, so the next ones we have are Pure, Holiday, Sing, Analysis, Playground, Unrestrained, Silly, Nature, Landscape, and Bouncy. But yeah, we made these Russian tea cakes. It was, they were all, they are really good. Like, they weren't big, because, you know, they're tea cakes. But when we made them, they were very, they were very tasty. We also used some confectioner sugar and made some, uh, like, made like a thin layer of sugar, like, uh, paste. Not sugar paste, but some sort of glaze to put over them. Oh, holiday. Okay. 
Gotcha. Just five more away and then we're done. So the next ones we have are Jumpy, Skipping, Cute, Atone, Electricity, Climax, Explode, Twirl, Frightening, and Incongru- Incongruent, I guess? I guess that's incongruent. Sometimes I look at words like this, my eyes cross and like, the uh, what's that? I don't understand. Incongru uh, incongruent is kind of like incompatible. Oh, okay. So it's like one of the words that like, like looks different, but it kind of like has like the same meaning. Let's see. I don't see it. So none of these actually, uh, none of these are actually for Sayori then. Well, in that case, I mean, a majority of them were for Sayori, so... Right, synonyms. Yeah! So, if none of these are for Sayori, then do we just pick one random one? Like, a majority of them Sayori likes, so... I don't know. One of them has to be? Well... The only one that I can kind of think of... Would be frightening? Maybe? Or, or maybe a tone. But these these two right here kind of feel like they might be something that Yuri might like. But I don't see it though. And I'm not like I'm not too sure about like just picking one just at random. So based on what I see, like Sayori, like I think it's probably either those two, but. At the same time, I'm not sure, so I'm completely relying on you guys to pick it. See? Hold on, I'm looking. Okay. Looks looks like Jumpy is a 2 plus for Sayori. Okay, so let's try Jumpy. <laughs> oh, most that is thanks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I completely forgot to do that. It's like, well, I mean, you already... I think I already made you mod on, uh, on YouTube. Might as well, like, put it up there. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I actually didn't know that either. I thought it was only like you have to pick the word associated with them or it's not going to be that at all. But, okay. Let's see. That's what it looks like. Uh, so here are the next ones we got. We got Nibble, Email, Vertigo, Jump, Childhood, Excitement, Broken, Shopping, Love, and Promise. Now I see a couple of them that might be in line with Sayori, but at the same time, I don't know for sure, so I'll leave it to you guys. Uh, direct me in the way of which I sh uh, where I should go, and then I shall follow. Childhood? Yep, she loved that. Ah, just three more and then we're done. So the next ones we got is Fluffy, Cheer, Puppy, Peaceful, Horror, Agonizing, Destiny, Vacation, Death, and Marriage. Ah, uh, oh, you got it. Yeah, I think I think that was a jinx. Cheer? Cheer! Okay. Uh, the next ones we got are Family, Question, Dark, Bliss, Bubbles, Happiness, Peace, Friends, that word again, Incapable and Incapable, I'll let you continue, your guy in the church status. I'll just keep the guide open in the background just in case. I got my eyes open. <laughs> oh, okay. Ah, uh, teamwork makes the dream work, guys. I appreciate you both. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, which one? Family? Okay. Now then. Just one more and then that should do it. So we got Fun, Crimson. Hey, Crimson's here! Uh, Fantasy, Unstable, Clouds, Swimsuit, Hurt, Treasure, Essence, and Prayer. <laughs> a low smart. Just don't say the word. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. We will not say that. We will, we will, we will keep that word out of our mouths. Speaking of which, uh, I really need to be more careful when I stream at night. I don't want to get too loopy. Uh. Okay. So, uh, which one of these words do you think would be? The one for uh, Sayori. What? 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 What'd I say? What'd I say? 
I don't know what I said. Uh. Okay. Okay, fun. Alrighty then. Gotcha. Oh, when you said fun, I thought you meant something else. Sorry about that. Okay, last one. So we got Fickle, Forgive, Doki Doki, Chocolate, Fireworks, Tenacious, Melancholy, Inferno, Disarray, and Infinite. Yeah, that, that that's what clicked in my head like afterwards. I was like, oh, she meant the word fun is for Sayori, not that this is fun. Forgive. Okay. And we've got it. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. <laughs> well, this is fun. I mean, I'm having fun. I'm with my buds. I feel, I feel very much alive right now. Hi, prom. Yo, Sayori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm, I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. I was helpful this time. Well, you were helpful the other times, too. Let's see, but I guess it's always the simple things with you, anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Eh? That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Eh? Why that? All of a sudden. No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Ah. Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets this contest fill into the desk. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> oh, I see where this is going. She has no money. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. How'd you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have brought a snack before coming into the club room. So either you're not hungry, you want an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money, so that would uh, lend you some. <laughs> Go get her food! I mean, if this was actually like one of my closest friends, then I would be like, yeah, sure, I got you." But, uh, I don't know. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. Ah, Soviet fish. Hello. How are you? Welcome to the stream. I hope you're in. I hope you like Doki Doki, because that is what we're streaming today. And so that only leaves the one option. Ugh, I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. That's how I found you. Oh, for real. Cool. Well then, I hope you enjoy your time here. We're trying to do Sayori's route today. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? I didn't know she was listening in. Hey, nice. We're trying to help PT get the good ending. Yeah, I want to. I want to be good at it. But I don't know much about the game, so uh, so Biggie and uh. And Taco are helping me out. Love the game, so I want to see people playing it. Uh, well, I hope you enjoy my playthrough. Her face is in her, in her book, as always. Uh, uh, I wasn't listening or anything. Uh, it was just something in my book. Yuri. Tell Prom to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. Yeah, that's what I keep telling other people that when they say, I don't have enough, so, well, buy when, you, when you're supposed to. Don't buy something that you have that you can't like pay for right now. It's so crazy. 
Let's see, and I see posts on YouTube too. Oh yeah, yeah, I do. It's called Prometheus 20X, so... Uh, for most of the time, like when I have streams like this, I sort of like cut them down. So it won't be like too long. Like, they'll still be kind of long, but it won't be too long that I post them on YouTube. So if you want to, ever want to watch this later, you can just go look at it there. See, I hope he's not talking about us, Taco. <laughs> no, no, it's somebody else, not you. And frankly... Let's see, what do, what do you usually stream? Uh, it's mostly just games. Like, uh, on my YouTube and, like, my Twitch. Like, my Twitch, I sometimes, like, do mods. On YouTube, I do mods and just, like, other, like, gameplay videos. Sometimes I play a game, like, straight through, unless it's, like, a little too difficult. Then I kind of stop until, like, somebody else tells me. But most of the time on my Twitch, I usually play games that I don't normally play on YouTube. And then... Like, if there are, like, certain scenes, like, with certain words or triggers that YouTube doesn't, like, really like, I kind of, like, cut those out before I post it up there. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty much that. So, uh, what I usually stream on here, is, well, I'm streaming Doki Doki on here, obviously, but the other games I play on here are Room Factory 5, and sometimes I play Near Automata. I've been trying to get back into, like, streaming on here, so... Hopefully, you'll be able to catch one of the three games. Let's see, I spin responsibly. I mean, I believe you. I mean, I hope so. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> and frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, you're suffering a fair enough retribution. Eh, uh, did I just... I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed into my book. Uh... <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You're right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Retribution. That! Oh, so Yuri does the same thing as I do. If I mispronounce a word, someone corrects me. It's like, yeah, that, that's the one I meant. Also, let me, like, reiterate again. It is storming outside, and the Wi-Fi has gone off like, uh, like once already. So if I'm playing and then I suddenly just go off, that means the storm probably knocked out my power, and I'll probably have to pick this up like at another time. But yeah, there's your second heads up. Viva Revolution! Exactly. Still coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little, there's a little devil inside of us all, isn't there? <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Zuri knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But... You wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> oh! Yeah! Oh. Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles into the desk. Ow! What was... Eh? A, a cookie! Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sorry, glances around. Is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution. That's... Mm. <laughs> That's... Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. Ha <laughs> I... I was just gonna give it to you. But then I heard you blub about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. <laughs> Natsuki! That's so nice of you. I'm so happy. Siri hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Siri rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good. Mm. Siri claps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. <laughs> You're good. You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Oh, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez! Beggars can't be choosers. Maybe yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm happy you shared this one with me. <laughs> Shuri gets out of her seat and goes by Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Ah, jeez. 
I get it, I get it. Cookie's still in hand. Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off of her. Um. Sayori so slowly leans in and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. <gasps> That's sneaky. Hey! Did you seriously just do that? <laughs> Mouth full, Sayori trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can, can you tell Sayori? Eh? Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Ugh. Where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have you heard of anything? Of, uh, oh, hold on. Let me try that again. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? N not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. To be fair, none of them can drink, so they're all kids. I mean, that is true. They still have some, like, some childish pranks about them. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She's probably just had something to do today. He's pretty popular after all. Eh? You don't think she... She has a... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. Eh, <laughs> that's true. Excuse me? Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. See, I think I saw Sayori is 18 and Natsuki is 13 or something. I saw on the wiki. Oh, I didn't know she was that young. I thought that they might have all been around like the same age since like they were talking about like college stuff, but I don't know. Makes sense. I guess. Boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Ah, uh, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Ah, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played a mu music as well, Monica. Ah, I don't really. I just kind of... I just... Oh, I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. Same. I actually did want to learn piano as well. It's it's a very elegant instrument, and it's, and it's also you can make it like sound very intense or very calming at the same time. I wanted to learn, but my left hand doesn't type independently of my right hand, and I don't really have a piano that I can practice on, so I don't usually do it. My bro plays piano. Oh, he does. That's pretty cool. Uh, my respect points have gone up for him then. Uh, if only I had one, I would practice on it. Maybe like, like maybe like, what, make a channel called P2 Plays Piano and like try like to do different music requests. That would be fun. But I don't know how to do any of that. That's so cool. You should play something for us, Monica. That's. Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. And I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Prom. Monica smiles sweetly. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. And I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? Not... Not really. I chose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Why is that surprising? I'll finish a cookie like in two bites. Sometimes just one if I'm really hungry. Yuri is back to her book, and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. Prom! Prom! 
Siri suddenly comes up to me. I'm gonna go get some supplies from another classroom. Wanna come with me? Supplies? What for? Well, you know how the festival is coming up? Uh, I wanna eat cookies. Yeah, I know. I, I saw, like, uh, the snack pack that I was looking at. It actually has, like, uh, two, uh, like, uh, I think five packs. And each of those packs has two giant cookies in them. I wanted to get that so badly, but then after the other thing I heard with my uncle and that whole other uh, recording thing like being set up, I think I gotta hold off on getting snacks, just to make sure I have enough to get the supplies to build that thing. Hopefully anyway. But I don't know. Yes, go with her, she needs your help. Well, I hate to disappoint her, but I'm not that tall, so don't ask me to reach anything on the top shelf. Me and Monica were... We're going to make some posters and stuff. So I need to go find some crayons and markers and glue sticks. Ah, I see. Sure, I'll go with you. Yay! Okay, Monica, we'll be back soon. Ah, you're going with prom to get supplies? There's no need to trouble yourself. I'd be happy to go with them. Aw, but I wanted to go. It's so much fun exploring into classrooms and stuff. <laughs> okay, okay. It was just a suggestion. See if you can find poster paper too, okay? Okay. Let's see. No, oh, my dad just asked me to reach something on the top shelf. Ah, that's the uh, that's the beauty of having like friends who are taller than you. You can always ask them to go and reach stuff for you. Like for the most part, I'm not really bothered about like not being like super tall. Sometimes it gets on my nerves, but at the, on the other hand, it's like, well, I've got other people I can rely on, so it's, it's not too bad. Because I usually ask uh, Cross to help me reach things that I can't reach. See, ready, Prom? Yep, let's go. See, my bros get things off the top shelf for me. In exchange, I get things on the bottom shelf for them. See, that's equivalent exchange. That's how it all, <laughs> that's how it makes it worthwhile. And... Like, I don't really, like, I'm kind of, like, really thin. I'm not, like, super, like, strong and thick. So, most of the time, I can just kind of, like, squeeze into places that most of, uh, most people can't. I can go and grab things that they can't reach. So, I think it balances out, you know? Being tall can be bad. My bro hits his head all the time. Oh, yeah. You, you, you especially don't want to be in a spot where it's, like, too small and you're really tall. You can't really do much. P2 and I are pros at hide and seek. <laughs> yeah, uh, we, I can crawl up under the the smallest of places just so I can hide. And nobody will even think of looking under there because they're too tall and it'll be a pain to look up under. <laughs> yep, let's go. Sari and I exit the club room. I fall behind as Sayori hums and skips around the hallway. Honestly. It feels like I'm taking a kid to the mall or something. Sari finds pleasure in the simplest things sometimes. I mean, I do too. It doesn't really take a lot to make me happy. So I kind of get Sayori. Let's see. I'd love to play hide and seek with you guys. Uh, I don't know if you'll like it because I hide pretty good, Jen. Now that I'm an adult, I don't have to make people worry about me getting lost. Oh, I mean, I might get lost trying to hide from everyone if I play, but... If we ever did, actually that would be pretty fun. Hey, Sayori. What exactly are we doing for the festival anyway? I'm not sure how you would make an event out of literature. <laughs> Me and Monica have it all planned out. Don't you worry. Is that so? Yep. We're gonna do a poetry performance. A performance? Of what kind? Well, everyone's going to take turns on stage and recite their favorite poems. Ah, that sounds kind of dull. Prom, you're not thinking about it the right way at all. It's not just about reading poems, it's about performing them. Like you say the lines of the poem like, Between my feet, the last remaining flower beckons to me. I twist the stem, freeing it from its clinging roots. 
caressing the final joyous moments between my fingers. But to what ends have I summoned this joy? For now, when I look in every direction, the once prosperous field before me is but a barren wasteland. Like that. Sayori. How do I put this? I'm sure it's just me, but it's impossible for me to take you seriously when you talk like that. Eh? You meanie. I'm working super hard on this, you know. Ah, I know, I know. It's just that I meant it's pretty unordinary contrast for your cute self. Eh, don't say that. It's embarrassing. But I guess that means I'm doing a good job. Yeah, I guess so. Ah, I'm so excited. The festival is going to be so much fun. Sori spins herself around in the hallway again. Hey, problem. The classroom's over here and is empty. Excuse me, guys. Pardon me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Okay. Let's begin the mission. The mission, eh? It's been a long time since I spent it, it time with Sayori like this. But in the end, she hasn't changed one bit. She's nothing but a ball of sunshine, drawing fi happy vibes from the world around her. It's a pretty nostalgic feeling for me. As the years went by, I began to hold myself up in my room more and more. So going adventuring with Sayori brings about a special sort of feeling I forgot I had in me. Is it... Is it love? Maybe? Maybe you like spending time with her because you actually love her, maybe. Beats me. <laughs> nah. Yeah, probably not. Mmm. This chili's hot. The two of us entered the classroom. Sayori head straight toward uh, straight to the closet and I follow. Let's see what we have in here. Crayons! Sayori pulls a box full of crayons off the shelf. They're the best brand, too. They're kind of dirty, though. Sayori starts pulling various crayons out of the box, reading the color names. Alright, that's one down. Don't get distracted. We still need to find... Wait, I'm looking for my favorite color. Fine, fine. Then at least move aside so I can look for the poster paper. I dropped one by accident. No! Or however she would say it. Siri bends down and spins over and smacks her forehead against the shelf. She falls to the floor and the crowns spill all over her lap. Ow, 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 ow. You okay? My forehead. Sori clutches her forehead. Geez, Sayori. That's just like you, isn't it? Come on, let me see. Since Sayori is sitting on the floor, I grab her by the waist and pull her out of the closet. You have to move your hand, Sayori. But it hurts. Just do it for a second. Sayori slowly releases her hands from her forehead. <laughs> ew. What do you mean, ew? But you don't like it? Let's see. Oh, there's the crayon. So, this is the second picture then, right? That's the one that we needed? The two pictures? Yep. Okay. In that case, I think we did pretty good. Hmm. Good job. Oh, thank you. I gently brush her bangs to the side. Ow. Sorry. There's a huge red mark in the center of her forehead. A bump is starting to form as well. Man, that's gonna swell up. I should find you some ice. Or maybe I could kiss it and make it better. No, 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 no. Let's just move along. Moving along. <laughs> no! <laughs> I said I was kidding. I wasn't actually going to. <laughs> what? You don't you don't want your best friend to kiss your forehead, the taco? You don't, you don't, you don't want kind to make your boo boo all better. Just a little, mm, mm, mm. no smooch. Never. Okay, okay. 
All right, all right. I, I see, I see. I, I won't. Then the next time you bump your forehead, I won't kiss it then. I'll just say, haha, <laughs> nerd, you should have been more careful. Let's see. Where would I even find ice around this time? Ah, uh, I guess a cold drink would do. You don't have to. It's fine. I'm fine with looking like a unicorn. <laughs> Whoa, rude. I mean, I think she, I think Taco would like that better than me just going over there and be like, here, let me find you some ice. Let me see it. Although, that's what I usually would do anyway. I would just try to uh, basically find something to bring the swelling down. I wouldn't actually like go that forward into it. Hi, I'm back. I have to go AFK for a second. Oh, okay. Well, it's a good thing then, because you would you wouldn't want to hear what I just said. Hmm. Anywho, I'm fine with looking like a unicorn. Even wetsing from the pain. Sorry, makes a silly joke. What you say? You can see it on YouTube. No, no, no. I'm not repeating that. <laughs> what are you saying? I'll be right back, okay? Okay. I pat Sayori on the shoulder and run into the hallway. I locate the nearest vending machine. What should I get? It doesn't really matter since it'll be used as an ice pack rather than to drink. I know Sayori likes apple juice, so I purchased that one. In just a, in just a moment, I'm already returning to the classroom where I left Sayori. She has one palm on her forehead and is using the other to uh, clumsily scoop crayons back into the box. At least they're already in the wrong spots before I spilled them. Sayori, here. I asked Sayori the bottle of apple juice. It's nice and cold. Sayori opens the cap and starts drinking from it. Sayori, what are you doing? It's for your forehead, idiot! Oh, hey, Chewie. How's it going? We're back into the thick of it. And now we have another tender moment. So, uh, I hope you guys brought your barf bags. Uh, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> How hard did you hit your head? Sarah is my favorite. I'm, I'm kind of starting to like her, though. She, it, it's very, she's very sweet. It, it, she really does seem like the best friend. Sayori placed the bottle against the bump on her head. It stings. Just bear with it. It'll feel better soon. Looks like you cleaned up most of the crayons, so that's good. Hey, prom. This kind of reminds you of growing up, doesn't it? Eh? What do you mean? Now we used to play outside all the time. I would always try to keep up with you. My fave is the box of crayons on the floor. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> I can relate to her because I'm kind of her IRL. I mean, that's true. Usually I try to keep up with other people as well. But, uh, yeah, like, I just sort of just be there. And I don't think I'm really like in the same league. Hmm. Oh. I, th I think this is a bot. Uh, let me see. Let me... Let me, uh... Go ahead and just, uh... Put you in a timeout. Sorry, you... You can't do stuff like that. So get out of here. Nope. Okay. I call Blue. But I'm a male version. Oh, we, we broke. Sorry. Hey, that is a bot. Yeah. We will we, we arrest that bot. Ah, uh, they're all erased. Can I be the green one? I'll be the green crayon. Let's see. Which yellow? There's two. Oh. You're. You can be the yellow one or the goldenrod one. Sunshine yellow. Okay. You're kind of oblivious in some ways. Like, I usually fell behind or had trouble climbing up with the things he did. And sometimes when I tried to do things I couldn't, I would get myself hurt. 
I fall and scrape myself or get a bump. I start crying really hard. Let's see. It's funny because I have the same relationship as she does with the main character. But it's literally the opposite genders. Uh. Y'all guys think y'all, uh. Will ever move any. I guess, like, move forward from just being, like, sort of friends to kind of being, like. Maybe this friendship could be something more. You know? It'll make for a nice story. But. I know, like, most people don't really like that. So, I don't know. I just think it's kind of cute. Can you tell I haven't used crayons since I was little? I mean, I haven't used them either. I've only used, like, a few, but not everyone. Everyone claims we're together, but she's not with it. Ah, darn it. I can relate to Siori because I, too, am on the floor. Mentally. Yeah, I, I feel that one as well. Okay, let's see. <laughs> you would rush over as quick as you could. You would try really hard to get me to stop crying. It was almost like you blamed yourself and you were afraid of getting in trouble if someone found out. Even though it really wasn't your fault at all, you know? D did I really do that? Yeah, you don't remember? Come to think of it, maybe I do remember a bit. I guess I was always focused on my games that I didn't pay enough attention to you. So in a way, it was my fault. Kind of like this time too. If I wasn't rushing you out of the closet, you probably wouldn't have hit your head. Mom, I don't think you realize it, but you're always thinking about other people. Even after all these years, you're rushing to help me, even though I'm just being clumsy. You really are a sweetheart. Aww, darn it. Don't call me that. I don't really do this kind of thing all the time. I guess when it comes to you, it just feels natural. Before I even know it, I'm treating you like that. I guess that's what happens when you've been friends for so long. Really? Maybe you're right. Prom. I'm so glad that nothing's changed between us. Let's see. But she also doesn't distance herself because, as he claims, I would die if she wasn't there looking after me. Oh. So it's kind of like that then, huh? Oops, sorry. Well, I still think that's pretty sweet, though. Also, I like this tender moment. This is, I mean, I didn't used to like like moments like this, but now it's, it's pretty cool. I do like it. Sorry about that, just had to Wet my whistle real quick. Okay. You think it'll be like this forever? Forever? If I'm honest to myself, there's no telling where we'll end up after, or where, or where we'll each end up for college or after that. See, PD's got a water bottle too. Yeah, um, my throat was getting kind of parched, so I had to go ahead and take me a little seat. So it wouldn't be fair for me to make any promises. But, well, I hope so. It's been this long already, right? I can't imagine you ever changing, so my hopes are up. See, he took her water bottle to drink. Yeah, like, your bump's already gone down. Give me that juice. I'm so happy. Sarah has a whimsical expression in her eyes. Remain silent for a moment. She's so silly and clumsy on the outside that when I see her deep in thought like this, it makes me not want to disturb her. I guess we should go back. I don't want to worry Monica, you know? Or y'all guys could, like, stay in there for a little while? Maybe sit? 
I don't know. It, that's that. That's probably just like uh, other things that are happening. Cause I, I never like. I, I was just watching other people like play it. Well, I watched uh, the Grumps play it, and I just watched that. It's like, oh, well, okay, they're just going through a story. But now actually playing it, I kind of want them to kind of stay there, you know. But that's just me. I should probably just go on ahead. Good luck with that. She's gonna see your forehead either way. I hide it under my bangs. Okay. Siri hops to her feet. Ah! She clutches her forehead again. Don't stand up so fast after hurting yourself. Uh, well, I guess it's too late now. Anyway, let's go. I follow Siri out of the classroom. Sari plays with her bangs and tries to hide the bump, but without much success. In a moment, we make it back to the club room. Hi, you're back! Hashtag forehead reveal. Yeah, let me see that forehead, girl. Let me see how it looks. So I can I like keep a picture of it forever and ever. Ah, you're back! Good timing, I was just about ready to start sharing our poems. Eh? Sari, your forehead. She's fine, don't worry about it. I was playing with the crayons and smacked my forehead into the shelf. Hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> well, anyway. Were you able to find everything you needed? Uh huh. Have it, right? Nah. Sarah friend looks around herself. I, I forgot all the stuff. Calm down, Sayori. Have it all right here. I found the poster paper, too. Haha! <laughs> Sounds like you ended up doing all the work, Prom. Ah, well, Sayori. I filled the cup for the excuse for Sayori. I made an adventure. Yeah, that. Ah, <laughs> okay, okay. In any case, good work. I'll start working on the posters tonight. Me too. Okay, everyone. Are you ready to share your poems? Guess I should grab mine. After making sure the crayon box is closed tightly, I return to my seat. Who should I share my poem with first? As if we already didn't know. Let's do it with Sayori first. There we go. Mm. Oh no! We gotta do it with Sayori. I could give I could give Sayori like a uh, not the power rooms. I <laughs> don't. I wish I didn't say it like that. Ew. I I don't know where you guys got this other. Oh jeez. <laughs> uh, I I wish I could do like an Australian accent, but I can't. I can do a British one, kind of. I don't know. I get it like Chrome. I really love your poems. I can't believe you've been hiding these from me. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not hiding anything. <laughs> Apologize for bringing the goblin to the chat. No, 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 no. Leave the goblin. We we like goblins here. <laughs> nah, she doesn't. Hey, she doesn't. <laughs> Besides myself, that is. But your poems are so good. Yesterday's and this one too. You can't tell me that you haven't done this before. I mean, you're really the only one who feels that way, so... Eh? No way! Not even Natsuki? Well, I guess Natsuki is the least likely to admit how much she likes something. But I don't think it's that. Prom is hiding everything. Yeah, you don't know what I got. Let's see, what do you mean? So is... Wait. Who's hiding something? I mean, I know there's secrets, but... Ooh. I want to know. Ah, well, my curiosity's peaked. Well, I guess I'll be honest about it. It's a lot easier to write poems when I'm thinking about you. To be out here swearing straight by it. Oh well, ah, it's Twitch. No one, no one's gonna really care. Eh? Don't even think about. Dang it! Now, now I really want to know. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop thinking weird things, idiot. I just, I just mean that you're a really expressive person, I guess. How am I supposed to write poems about my own stupid life? But you somehow make everything in your life an adventure. Even the little things. She's just trolling. Oh, I, I know, but still. That kind of makes me... That, that piqued my curiosity just a little bit. <laughs> like cooking. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> so, yeah. That's what I'm saying is I can feel... I can feel more feelings through you than I can feel through myself. Sorry, girl. You can cook? Oh. Well, that's already, that's already like a lot of points. If you can cook... Oh boy. We have that kind of weird connection. It's your fault for getting into my business all the time. Eh? I don't know if I understand. She can cook instant ramen in the microwave. <laughs> Let her cook! Hmm. <sighs> you never understand when I try to explain things to you, do you, Sayori? I pat Sayori's head. <laughs> hey! I'm not a kid, you know. Are you sure about that? See, I can't cook, but Luke can do it, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, don't yeah, don't worry about that. Luke will make you all of the delicious foods that you could ever want. And he'll go ahead and grab all the ingredients. Mm. I'm taking a little snack break. Hold on. Mm. 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 Still haven't seen the scary thing yet, though. Mm. But... I'm willing to bet that we're almost there. Are you sure about that? Hmm. Maybe. Sari starts fiddling with her pencil between her hands. Hey, prom. Will you give me your poem? I kind of want to keep it. Huh? Why? Because. Well. See, it's not like after your first playthrough. You, you don't worry. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully... Hopefully nothing too bad happens, but even if it does, like, we're already prepared for that as well. It's the first time you've written something for me. <laughs> Siri, you completely misunderstood. I didn't write this for you. <laughs> uh, are you even listening anymore? Oh, whatever. I'll give it to you when we go home. Really? Snap. Ah, I broke my pencil. Sorry, hastily bends down to pick up the piece she dropped. Being inattentive of her surroundings, she bumps right into me. S sorry. It's fine, it's fine. Let's see. I've always had a soft spot for it. Oh, the little dinosaur head. It, that does look pretty cool. It's like it was like an exclamation point, like times a thousand. I was expecting a different circumstance. Do you mean like the uh, cliche thing where they, uh, where they both bump into each other and they fall over, and Sayori's like on top of them, like that? Or, hmm. Yes. Oh yeah. I, I kind of like that though. This is the emoji I got. What is that? Oh, it's the instant ramen. <laughs> That's very anime-like. I know, right? That's what I was kind of thinking as well. I just thought she was going to hit her head again. <laughs> I'll get it for you. I bend down to pick up the broken pencil. Sari clutches the desk beside her to support herself, knees shaking. I'm a little clumsy today. <laughs> well, let's sit down, Sayori. Yeah. I grab Sayori's arm and help her sit at the desk. Anyway, I still haven't read your poem. Oh, sorry, I forgot about that. It's not as good as yours. Jeez, don't worry. I'm sure I'll like it. Let's see. The actual heck. Me shaking. I mean, shit. Maybe, maybe our charisma is shining through. Oh, oh wow, that's a long one. Okay. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and wet my whistle so I can actually do some good writing. Hold on a minute. What has happened with chat? Everything, Jen. Everything. 
And this is the stuff that I like. Keep it up, guys. Let's see. Bottles. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. This is the secret place where I keep all my dreams. With balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, and a bottle all in a row. My collection makes me lots of friends. Each bottle is starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go. Like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time's elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends slip through my locked front door. Finally all done, I open up, and in come my friends. In they come, in such a hurry, do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf, one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, and shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something. But all I hear is echo, 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 inside my head. Let's see. Is there even, mul is there even multiple endings for this game? Yeah, that's what I hear. There's multiple endings, I think. Let's see. Oh, I got a condensed version of this game with Laura's stuff when it first came out. So it's interesting to see it played. I played it too, but only the one time. Interesting. Bars. Yeah, pretty much. We're gonna try to like go through all of them and see like how they go like, but hopefully we get the chance to get a good ending with Sayori or close to it. Holy carp! Sayori, did you really write this? Uh, of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was gonna write the best poem ever? Yeah, but... I mean... I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot. I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to be you being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Aw, thanks. I feel like... I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. You've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah! Writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. <laughs> don't get too ahead of yourself. Sayori's so always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it no more than a week later. I wonder if this is one of those times. But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. Okay. Who should I give my who should I show my poem to next? We showed it to Siori, so uh it doesn't really matter, but who who do you, who do you guys think? Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll eat some more of my chili. She's gonna keep writing until she dies. I don't like that face after that sentence. Hmm. Huh? Uh, Natsugi, just going online. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Mm -hmm. Put that right there. Hmm. Well, it's not really any worse than your last one. Do you play survival games often? Uh, does Minecraft count as a survival game? Because I play that. That's pretty fun. And I like to survive on there. But yeah. 
I don't mind like a couple of survival games as long as they're like pretty good. Mmm. Mmm. Don't hurt your voice during that Suki's voice. Oh, I'll, I'll try not to. <clears throat> Technically, I have like a bottle of water, so I should be able to uh, pull it off pretty good. Hmm. Almost there. Hold on. Okay. But I can't really say it's any better either. Whew. Huh? Feel what? Uh, well, anything that isn't a train wreck, I'll take it as a win. <laughs> ah. No, I follow. Yeah! Th well, thank you, Soviet Fish. I appreciate that. Thanks for the follow. I hope you I hope you like the streams in the future. I'll try to do more do them more consistently when I have like a good enough schedule going. I get the feeling you're probably the most critical. Hey, what makes you Wait, maybe that was a compliment? Aha! Glad to see someone recognize my experience. Well then keep practicing and maybe you'll be as good as me someday. That's uh Something tells me Natsuki completely missed the point. Yes, thank you so much for the support. Something tells me Natsuki... Oh wait, yeah, okay, I read that part. Uh, Come to think of it, kind of reminds me of Sayori's poem from yesterday. Uh, uh, you think so? Yeah, well, I guess if you've been friends with her for so long, you might be on the same wavelength. But you never really struck me as her type. Sayori has- Oh, Sayori has a type all of a sudden? Well, I don't know, but honestly, how can someone so are fluffy spend so, uh, so much time with someone like you? It's not like she's dragging around dead weight. Uh, that was a little unnecessary. But think of it this way, if it weren't for me, she probably would just fly away like this, letting go of a balloon. You could say we take care of each other in our own way. Whatever it is, I don't get it. Oh yeah, I guess I'm supposed to show you my poem. Here. Okay. Let me see. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? She likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. Her, her singing, my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm, the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Hmm. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. But if her friend starts to like spiders too, that's why I'm not friends with her. I was, <laughs> I was gonna say don't judge my girl Amy, but now I am judging. Oh, I mean, does anyone here have arachnophobia? Do, do y'all guys not like the spider? I mean, I don't. Never mind, whoever wrote this is a certified hater. I mean, I don't like spiders. They're fascinating to look at. Like, we had like a spider that was on a, that was on our porch. And, they, and it made like a huge web. The spider was like kind of big. It was like red and orange. And like it was fascinating just to watch it like sitting in the web. And then one day we like got some bugs that we uh, that we killed. We picked them up and we threw them into the web. And the spider ran over there and quickly like wound it up in its spider web and ate it for later. And we just fed it like that. And it was actually pretty fascinating to watch. Have arachnophobia and whatever you call a grasshopper, but oh, tiny jumping spooters. I wouldn't stop being friends with people who like spiders. I mean, I wouldn't either. I, just, I would just say, like, d just don't put them on me and I'll be fine. <laughs> Although, I think probably once in my life I'll probably like one of those big, uh, tarantulas, like, to, uh, to crawl on me. Just once, like, in my hand. Not on my shoulder, not on my head, just in my hand. And hopefully it doesn't bite me. Let's see, I love jumping spiders. Uh, 
I would like it better if they didn't like jump on me and bite, but they're pretty okay. Nar, nar. I'm friends with someone who holds spiders for funsies. Nar. Not a huge fan of tarantulas. I'm gonna I'm gonna cry if you try to get me into that, but. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I wouldn't. If y'all guys don't like spiders, then I wouldn't. Like, I wouldn't hold one, like, in real life. Like, not really. I thought about it, but no, I wouldn't. But they are fun to watch sometimes. When they're not in your house, trying to bite you. Have you ever seen one of those fellas? A jumping spider? I don't think I have. The only ones that I've found were, like, brown recluse spiders. And... There's also, like other tiny spiders like they're ones that are like really really tall and black I'm not tall and black but they're small and black and they're always moving their uh they're always moving their like uh fangs or what, what would you call them like when you look down at them and they kind of like like they move in like tiny jumps but if you ever put your hand down by it you'll spook them and then they'll like hop off sometimes they'll hop at you but sometimes they'll hop away those are the only spiders I've seen around here Let's see, uh, it doesn't matter if she has other hobbies, it doesn't matter if she keeps it private, it doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone, it's gross, she's gross, the world's better off without spider lovers, and I'm gonna tell everyone. Jeez, that's a little critical. Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Something tells me Natsuki doesn't like spiders. Nah, not, not a very creative name. But they're so cute. I mean, some of them can be can look pretty cute. I remember there was this one person that couldn't even look at a picture of a spider because you know, it just horrified him so much he just he had to leave chat until we took it off. And then we told him, no, no, it's okay, we took it off. And then he came back. Jeez. Mm, That's just a hate note. Pretty much. Mm. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with much simpler analogies. It helps people realize how stupid they're being. Like anyone would ever agree to the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Do you know people like that? Of course, it's about how everyone thinks my... That doesn't matter. It could be about anything. I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Pop-tarts. Sometimes you're afraid of people find out. They make fun of you or think less of you. Ah, uh, I kind of get that. Just a little bit. I tried it one time, and now... People won't let that go and it just become a butt of a joke and I can't escape from it. So, hmm. It was an interesting poem though. Those are red, violets are blue. I don't like spiders, but holds them too. I mean, pretty much. Like, I would like to try it one time. Like, I won't hold it ever again, but I'll hold the spider one time and see how it's like. I mean, she does hold them. That just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy? I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Okay. <clears throat> well, you're definitely right. At least I can relate to that. And I'm sure a lot of people can too. It's what I do best after all. I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Like conveying emotions is important. But I want to make people think, not just feel. Remember that. I'm gonna write a good one for tomorrow too, so look forward to it. Okay. The worst part uh, of tarantulas is their stinging hair. Not sure what it's called. Yeah, that thing. I heard about that. So, even if I did want to hold one, I couldn't really hold one because I would get those, like, itchy burny feelings that you get from their hair. I don't like this conversation. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, 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 we won't talk about the spiders. Ah, it's my turn? Let's see how it compares to yesterday's. Hmm, I see. It's a bit different. I respect you for trying thing different things, Prom. 
Why can't we hold cats? Okay, no more spot. Oh, oh, well, I mean, we can always hold cats. Uh, I, I, Fluff McMuffin never let me hold her. Mm, thank you, thank you both. <laughs> Are you inspired by Natsuki's poem? Or Sayori's, perhaps? Well, I guess you could say that. I thought so. I'm happy for you. You don't need to find inspiration in my poems. I write them for myself. Not for anyone else. So I don't really need for people to like them or anything. Hey, Yuri! Eh? I'm sorry for being blunt, but you're overthinking this a little. Just because our styles are different doesn't mean I dislike your poems. In fact, if I try to do something in your style, I'll probably just do a terrible job. I... I see. Oh yeah, I need a new cat for myself. Uh, I, I, I hope you do. Cats are pretty good, you know? They help keep vermin away. And plus, they're like, they're they're very good to hang out with. I miss my little fluff McMuffin. Hmm. Let's see. The one I had went out and didn't come back. Oh, that's rough. I'm sorry about that. We were talking about kittens the other day. I know. I want another cat. But I but I but I know my uh my family probably wouldn't like it. Well, certain family members, including myself, I bet that cat here would probably mess with us a lot. So, I don't know. I'm sorry. My stupid mind. It likes to do that sometimes. Anyway, you don't need to be afraid to be a little more daring. Your metaphors can go a long way. Don't feel, don't feel like you need to work your brain like turning a bunch of gears. Try letting your mind wander through your feelings. Write down the things you see in here. That's one way to truly enable your reader to see it into your mind. That's a very intimate exercise. I see. That's a, that is certainly an interesting technique. Thanks for sharing. I have, um, well, an example of that if you'd like to read it. Of course. Is this the poem you wrote for today? Very nice, and Timmy hands me your poem. Oh no, it's the cursive, good grief. Guys, help, I don't know how to read this one. I mean, I'll try my best anyway. Mm. So her poem is titled, The Raccoon. It happened in the dead of night while I was, I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. Okay. You got this, man. Right, thanks, Talk. I'll, I'll try my best. My attention was caught by this, this guttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as a wandering human. She was. Th this hurts my soul. Everyone's going to think I'm stupid for not being able to read this. I gave a ra the raccoon a piece of bread. My subconscious, well aware of the consequences, well aware that the raccoon, that raccoon that is fed, will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. The bread, my hungry curiosity, the raccoon. On, and what? What is this? What is this word? Curse of his heart. Don't worry. Bro, I'm too struggling to read this. I'm trying my best. Oh my god, this is hard to read. Oh, the raccoon, an urge. Oh, an urge. That's what it is. Okay, got it. Sheesh. Cursive is far too hard to read. I know. Let's see. Uh. What's it? The moon and. What in the what? Increment the moon increments its phase and reflects that much more light off my cutting knife. The very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited, or perhaps I'm already projecting my emotions into the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken to following me. You can see that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I branch my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A, f a, a 
was it? A rush of blood. Classic pa Pavlovian conditioning? Is that Pavlovian conditioning? I slice the bread and I feel myself and I feed myself again. Uh, Raccoon, stop following that girl. <laughs> oh, no. But Raccoon likes, bre uh, likes bread, not blood. He doesn't like blood, he likes bread. Pavlovian, you got it. This is a poem I will write. Uh, this kind of feels like you, honestly. Ugh. Well, we got through that one. Good lord. Um, I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. It's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. And that's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions to them. Yeah, if I take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate in their own way. See, all that talking about glistening knives. Gotta love it. Yeah, it's uh, ugh. it's a, it's a little creepy, you know. I have not written poetry in a long time, but this game low key makes me want to do it again. I mean, if you do write a poem, we'd be happy to read it. I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. It's those sorts of things I'm usually forced to keep to myself. So I sometimes enjoy writing about them. I read all that talk about uh, gaslighting knives. <laughs> oh no. It's, it's, yeah, I know. It's very hard to read the cursor. I get it. I get that exactly. Huh, that's funny. Hmm? Didn't Natsuki also write something about that? About someone being ridiculed for a strange interest. Eh? She. she did? Yeah, she was talking about how it doesn't matter if you're into uh, what you're into, as long as you're not hurting anybody. She, she's right. Ah, uh, I mean, does she really feel that way? Yeah, sounds like you do have that in common. That's well, that's interesting. To me, she seemed like the kind of person who would make fun of my hobbies. But I suppose that's my fault for judging, isn't it? Uh, please don't tell her I said th I said that. <laughs> Don't worry, I have no reason to. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing it with me. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. I I might be ranting a little bit now. But I'm glad you, you're a good listener. I mean, if there's one thing that P2 is known for, is for being a good listener. Is it, oh, it's too easy normal or writing. I, I think the curse of melted my brain. Oh no. No, no. Catch, catch your brain. Alright, Monica, here's my here's my poem. Hi again, prom. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe you'll come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. I never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Alright, it's pretty good. It makes me think of Sayori, like the other one that you wrote. You two are like the dynamic duo. <laughs> That's kind of exaggerating it. Yeah, probably. But you do spend a lot of time with her, even in this club, don't you? Then again, I don't blame you for being a little shy. I'm not shy. It's just, I gotta get it back together for the poems. Uh, if you do, I would love to read your poems. It, it sounds like it would be a interesting read. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I know it takes a bit of time to make friends with everyone. But you and Natsuki are super interesting people, so don't be afraid to get them their share of time. You can talk to me every now and again, too. I'm not, like, unapproachable or anything, am I? Uh, no, not really. Mainly, if when it when it comes to girls like Monica, it's more like I'm. It more, it's more like most guys feel like, oh well, it, you're way out of my league. I probably shouldn't even look in your direction. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think it's kind of like that. 
Ah, no, it's nothing like that. I'm just still getting used to being here, that's all. Yeah. I'm sorry if I was putting pressure on you or something. I really didn't mean it like that. No, don't worry. I get what you're saying. Well, alright. See, I have no idea where I would start. It would be fun to try to stream with all of us trying to do poetry. Uh, everyone can look at my terrible handwriting. Like, I, I write still, but I don't write very often, so I don't know how my handwriting looks now. This would probably look kind of weird. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Alright, let's take a look. <laughs> you can type it out. Okay, thank goodness. Oh, see, this one's not too bad. Let's see, save me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. An endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise that won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms. Squeaking, screeching, piercing. Sine, cosine, tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaningless load me that's a little weird hmm it's even more extracting your last one huh <laughs> interesting is it I guess it's just the way I write it's important it is oh I just thought it was like more, more of the scary seeping in, but if it's important, then I kind of need to, uh, you know, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 then I need to pay more attention to her poems, then I guess. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. Interesting. That's mighty interesting. It's just the kind of thing I've never really seen before, I guess. Everything is important. Oh, all of them are. Okay. Hmm. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. And Cowboy P2. Yeah. I like them poems. Them that are them that are them interesting poems. I love them. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines really sure it makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. Now see, it's still hard for me to tell what it's about though. <laughs> Sometimes asking, asking what a poem is about uh, isn't the right question. I need to stop doing that. <laughs> Okay, let's see. I guess the game is very meta, so I'm taking every little thing it being important. That let's see, but that's one important to the bigger game. Oh, <laughs> why did Monica start, like turn into a cowboy all of a sudden? Uh, Monica cowboy. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I just like playing around with like the uh, the southern drawl, mainly because I am from the south. So doing a southern drawl kind of come natural, you know. Helps you articulate better, but I don't know. Uh, let's see. She shows up one day with a poem that just says, Yee-haw! A poem can be extracted as physical expression of a feeling. Or a conversation with the reader. So put it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip for the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision or a decision. And when that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when you might change your mind. Or when something unexpected may happen, partner. Wait, is this a tip is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? <laughs> That's my advice for today. Meta. I tip my hat to y'all, chat. Now it's not. 
All right, no one, no, no more back, no more cowboy, uh, cowboy, mo I'm on a cowboy, I guess. Thanks for listening. Okay, everyone. Oh, uh, let's see. We're all done with reading each other's poems for today. Uh, poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could come stand in front of the room. She broke the fourth wall. Yeehaw! Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. That's why we're doing it today, so we can prepare for a few days uh, prior, you know? It's about our lord and savior, Monica. We're having a say on- we're, we're, cha we're trying to cha uh, channel the inner Mona Cowboy. This is our seance for it. Exactly. Yup. This is what we have to do. The fourth wall doesn't exist if you try hard enough. <laughs> Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. Sarah has been working on posters, and I've de designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all. But that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Ah, sorry. I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing? Well then. Well then, let me, uh, go ahead and... Mute this real quick. Hold on. Okay, um, I think I'm back, I guess. Uh, am I coming in alright? Everything good? Or, or nah? Out it, partner. Yes, okay. We're, we're all here. <laughs> um, Monica? Yeah. We're going to be having a poetry performance. P is for partner. The gang's all hair. Partner. And then the, and then we got the dancing dinosaur. We got it all right here on the Say It Prometheus channel. Glad everyone's here. I am but a cheerleader. Well, we appreciate all your cheers. 
P A R D N E R. What's that spell? Partner. It's like a cheer. It's like a cowboy, but it's a cheerleader. Using a paper towel as a pom pom. But, partner. Yeah, that's it. Every everyone get in on it. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. Sayori's putting it all on posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> Sayori's been coloring a poster holds it up for us to see. Let's see. Easy stream channel is going to just turn into a cowboy channel. And I'm going to like attract like every like southern, uh, southern like accent person that uh, like in uh, streams and just be like I'm from the deep south I come all the way from Alabama yeah and this game just brings out the strangest thing cowboy convention 2024 is this is also a coincidence because it's like I don't listen to country music like all that much all the way from Alabama yeah I got countries in there I too live in the yee ye country they, this is where all my people are. Everyone comes over here. You can have the most southern drawl that you ever, ever had. I don't like country music either. You know, I, I don't either. It, it makes me want to actually puke. <laughs> yeah, my it has a country playlist. Oh no. You're south of Alabama. Oh, that's great. I got, I got family down there. Uh, well look, th there's no offense to your brother, I'm sure country music is great, it's just I don't like it. it. It makes me want to barf. But, I'm glad that he likes it though. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't, you didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Eh, well, well I did. Did you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, well no. It's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know? There's no way I'm going to be able to perform in front of a group of people like that. I, I agree with Natsuki. I could never in my life do something like that. Let's see exactly about myself, but I expect for what it is. Beer truck. Bigger beer truck. Beer. Hold on, hold my beer. Oh, I can hear the rain coming back down again. Sheesh. Let's see, I'm watching the stream and playing more thunder in the background. And I just hear in the background, pull up, pull up, attitude, or an incredible speed. Oh dear. I'm just, I, we just look at look at the uh, screen and then you just see like a truck like coming up like in the background and they're, all the girls are scattering around. So watch out, it's a truck! Uh, I'll keep my cornbread and chicken song to myself then. No, 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 you can, you can share if you want to. I mean, we'll give it, I'll give it a listen. It's just that, jeez. Imagine it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys, no Sayori, I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple of days ago. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that, so I'm sorry. But, I still think we should give it our best. We're the ones responsible for the fate of this club. We start the event and each put on a good performance, then it'll inspire others to do the same. Hey, uh, Monica, could you maybe not poke Natsuki in the eye? You know? Corn, corn, chicken, corn, bread, and beer. That have my token take place. Jane, Jane, dirt, chicken, beer. Come on to the south to eat some more chicken. To be out here with their own original country song. Wait, why was that good? Wait, what do you mean? What what was good? The chicken beer? <laughs> I don't know. They eat more chicken, get the waffle fry. She will write the lyrics. People will be the vocal. Oh no! Wait, wait, wait! I was just kidding. <laughs> I don't actually want to do that. Uh, eight four chicken dirt is gonna fly. Besides, I, I, uh, my uh, southern draw like messes with my voice. <laughs> then it will inspire others to do the same. 
Okay, I'm gonna go there now. But <laughs> okay, ha have a good time, Soviet fish. I'm glad you were able to come over. We hope to see you again very soon if we ever stream again. Okay, let's see. The more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Hm. Better. Oh, don't worry. I'm trying to work on a schedule right now. Hopefully everything works out. Let's see. Yeah! It's about expressing your feelings. Being intimate with yourself. Finding new horizons. And having fun. That's right. And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Truck, truck, pull up to the chick filet. Dirt, dirt spin off all the tires. Or something like that. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, I know you can do it. <laughs> Gotta get my chicken and my waffle fry. P2 find his hidden talent. No, no, that's not a hidden talent. That's a, that's a, that's a very, very, very sad talent. We have no use for it. I'll chop this video up later just to song parts. Okay, I'll, I'll put it so you can actually do that then. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave on the creator. Uh, the creator's common license so you can like remix it uh, listen to the dolly patron as I cry or however that goes I can't make my voice like do that with that warbly effect it's a fun talent oh, thank you no you're welcome now oh, guys do what you want to with those that suki and Yuri remain silent Siori looks worried I guess that leaves me no choice I agree I don't think it's too much to ask I think that Sayori and Monica have been really trying hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. I was just gonna rip it into the internet. <laughs> you did good. Ah, uh, thanks. Uh, thank you. I will be, be, be performing this never again. <laughs> so you can only watch it on the Prometheus 20X channel, unless somebody wants to use it for anything else. Oh, chicken, 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 waffle fry, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, oh, I, I wish I could get the high notes back, I can't get high notes. I probably, I probably would try it if I had, like, my own place, and, like, no one was in the room, and I could just, like, yell to the top of my lungs, but, ugh, we can't do it here, I'm too nervous. Thank you for your brave attempt. That will suffice. You never said that means he's gonna sing again. Oh. I mean, that also didn't say it. I might just sing just for the heck of it, just for just being silly. <laughs> Salutes for the few efforts. Uh, hold on, let me, let me, let me, let me put like a little, there you go. There's a little salute. It looks like Natsugi doesn't have any argument left. Uh... Okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. All right. Whew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Mm. Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expected faces. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice. Ah, that's everyone! You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh gosh, you'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem. I choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. No, no way! M Monica! This is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of the strangers? Oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a, a little more comfortable. Can I go next? Aha! Of course! Now let's see. Monica flips to her notebook the specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. <clears throat> Monica presents to recite her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion by each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is she simply a natural? Let's see, I'm gonna go eat. Okay, you have fun.
uh, I'll try to, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and, uh, should I just go ahead and wrap up then? Or should we, uh, or should we keep going? What do y'all think? Because we can always save. I want to go eat chicken. Okay, okay. We'll go ahead and save it right here. And then the next one, we'll go ahead and continue on with what Monica was saying. I'm going to have eggs. Okay. I am going to save it. Should I save it over the second one? Or should I save it over the third one? Okay, thank you for the stream. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. If you ever come to my trip, well, yeah, I'll serve you the good chicken. Well, Chewy, I think I'm going to have to take you up on that option. Eggs is one of the stuff away from fried chicken. Just save over the empty one to be safe. Okay. Alright. I want to go to... Well, alright. We'll, we'll make it a road trip. We'll go over to uh, Chewy's Chick-fil-A and then we'll, we'll eat the fried chicken she serves us. But anyway... I guess I'll do it for the stream, and it's a good thing too, the rain started back up again, it's thundering, so, anyway, thank you all for watching, if you guys like what you saw, make sure that you follow here, and don't forget to let me know, like, what kind of thing you would like me to stream next, I also have a channel called Prometheus20x, I do gaming stuff on there, if you want to go over there and take a look, you can go over there and check, and I think that's all I need to say. But uh, yeah, uh, thank you again so much for joining me on this stream. I'll try to get the screen, the streaming schedule back on track so everyone will be able to see it more often. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next stream. So also, thanks again to Viggy and Taco and Chewy for helping me out trying to find the path to the other uh, stories. But anyway, yeah, thank you again. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next stream. So take care, everyone. Y'all have a good day.